Hello, this is Dr. Scott McLean, and this is a YouTube video about implant dentistry. Today we're going to be fabricating and inserting a implant bridge made out of zirconia. We're going to review the case first. This patient came in, had three bad teeth. We ended up placing uh, four implants, so three in the posterior, one in the anterior. We all were placed immediate with uh, no load except for the anterior one did have some load. The three posteriors were placed with uh, healing abutments and then we just waited for them to heal. So we took some impressions of the anterior plus the posterior using some stabilizing wire from Keystone Industries and this enabled us to get a nice impression. The impression was then poured up and we had to mount the bite. So this video is going to show you how we mounted this to get an accurate bridge impression and mounting. So we took a torque control wrench, which is a fantastic tool to have. You can dial up your torque and put uh, bridges on and off, which is just fantastic. Our first task is to take the healing abutments off. You can go back to the posterior aspect of the mouth and easily get these off with the torque control by just twisting in a counterclockwise fashion. So I take the first one off, then I'll go back in and take the second and third and get these out. And I'm going to put these in some chlorhexidine rinse just to kind of have these soaking in the meantime. So we get the third one out. So here we're looking at the implants themselves. You can see they're healing quite well. I did use a stage healing approach with a platform shifted healing abutment first, followed by a bridge abutment after everything had started healing. So we have the model and we're going to use the bite registration jig to get this model mounted in a centric bite. So we put this on the patient, starting with the first screw, then tighten down the rest of the screws. And one of our goals is also to verify our model. So we'll tighten this down to about 15 newtons. And then we'll have a look at things and just make sure that it's past the fitting. We can also check the thickness of the porcelain by checking his bite this is going to represent the zirconia substructure. The porcelain will be added on over top of this. So once we take the bite, we can see that this is verified. Everything is seated down nicely, and uh, we're happy with the way this looks. So I'm going to check the vertical now, making sure that when we're doing the bite before and after the bite registration that we're at the same vertical as to not change the bite. So we'll use some bite registration material. Here we're using imprint bite from 3MSB. Then I'll take this and trim it back with a scalpel making sure that the soft tissue rests that I captured are taken away so that I can mount the model properly. So I usually like to verify this by putting it back into the mouth, having the patient bite into it, and then checking the vertical again with a caliper to make sure that the vertical from the uh, gingival markings are going to be accurate. So here we take the device out of the mouth we're going to then place our bridge healing abutments back on, knowing that we've changed the bridge ones to now have a, a non-platform shifted situation. So I'll take the torque control wrench. I can set the torque on this and go and put this non-platform shifted healing abutment in. You can see that it goes to the outside of the implant now. But it's important to note that I did use platform shifted at first and then went back to non-platform shifted. In a, on a purposeful way to get some healing on the area before we get to this level. And you'll actually see that the bone responds quite favorably when I do this. So now I'll put the healing abutments back in, the bridge healing abutments, and we're going to let this sit while we make the bridge. So we'll mount our model on the articulator with a face bow and get a good record. This picture shows us that we need to add some Duralay to the guide for the substructure so that the porcelain is not going to be too thick when we add it on. So once we get this model mounted, we can then take it to the CAD CAM scanner and uh, start to get this CAD CAM model designed and scanned and then milled. So we start by uh, scanning where the model is going to be. Then we're going to scan the substructure itself by putting pins on. And then we're going to scan the back of this. We, we scan the top of it, the sides of it. So we get a, an accurate CAM model of this on the computer. So you can see here we're doing the occlusal surface of the 
structure and we've opaqued it out with some green uh, paste just to make so that the uh, computer can see it. So now we get a model on the computer and we can use this to create our milling st structure. So this is going to be made into zirconia and then the porcelain will be added on top of this. So we send it off over the internet to uh, Nobel Biocare for milling and they'll use their large CAD CAM milling machines to make this. So later it's delivered back to the dental technician. You see the before and after are quite the same. Here's the substructure, quite beautiful. It's shaded. You can see it's screw retained with non-engaging uh, copings and we can see how it fits down on top of the model. And we can see that now we have the space for the porcelain that's going to be over this zirconia substructure. So the technician starts to add on the porcelain. So Mike here is adding on his uh, characterizations and shade and, and shape and creating this magnificent piece of artwork. So it's going to look a little pink at first. You can see he's added the front tooth here and then added a few more teeth. So he's going to take it to the uh, firing oven to fire this. So he's doing his creativity, uh, creative work and making this look very, very nice. So once it comes down from the first firing, you can see that the uh, porcelain is actually looking quite nice and we can see that he's going to do a couple more characterizations. He'll carry it away after it cools and uh, start to add some more porcelain on this uh, beautiful, beautiful substructure. So here he's looking at it and making sure that it looks good and uh, then he'll start to be a little bit more creative, adding some textures and shades doing an anatomic buildup so adding porcelain the way that the body would actually have the different colors so you end up with this beautiful bridge with non-engaging uh, substructures on the connection on the bottom and then a screw retained access on the top you can see that when it's fitting on the model that looks quite beautiful so it's just something that's uh, going to serve the patient for a long time so we're going to insert the bridge now we go back to the patient we're going to take it off the model and then we're going to start to try this in the patient's mouth. Now being that the patient's had healing abutments on, it's going to create a little bit of pressure when we put this in. So not too much. The patient usually feels it for about a minute and uh, generally they don't have to be frozen but you're going to see when we put this in it's going to have some pressure spots. So you're going to see some blanching of the tissues as we tighten this down. So I'll place the middle screw and then I'll place the posterior screw and go in a sequential format and then I'll have an x-ray so I can look. But check out this x-ray. You can see right across this interface that the bone is staying to the very top of the implants when I use this stage healing approach. So it's a nice way to kind of maintain bone. The bone grafting material that we put in stayed nicely. You can see here's the top of the implant and there's the bone right there. So it looks very very favorable. Here's that blanching I was telling you about. This will go away usually in the first couple of minutes. And uh, we're putting some pressure because the shape of the bridge is slightly bigger than what the healing abutments were. So we'll tighten this down to 35 newtons. So we'll torque it and we'll torque uh, the different screws moving back and forth. Just like we're, we're tightening down uh, one a little bit then the other a little bit. Keeping the uh, bridge kind of seated properly. We're using the Nobel BioCare uh, prosthetic kit to do this. After we get this tightened down, we're going to place some sterile cotton. We actually put it in the sterilizer, uh, wrap it, sterilize it, and then place it in the inside the access channel. Once it's pushed inside there with the uh, cotton pliers, then we're going to come back and put some resin over top of it. This is going to create a nice sterile environment for the screw inside and you can open this up and there's not generally any smell down in there. So then we'll take some restorative material. We're going to use just some uh, resin and place this inside. Kind of wipe it off with my finger plugger there and uh, we'll get this so that it's going to be restored. Do a little bit of light curing making sure that we get a nice restoration that's going to seal off this access hole. So if we ever need to take this off we can just take this out get back to the screws and, and then get it uh, fixed up for the patient. So this is Dr. Scott McLean. We're going to be adjusting the tooth here a little bit and the patient's going to be ready to try this out.